an udon shop for dinner and I really wanted to make a video about it because I feel like udon is a very underrated dish here in Japan. Everybody wants to eat ramen and they ask me to make videos about ramen but I prefer udon and soba so today I'm going to show you guys one of my favorite cheap yummy udon places so yay let's go! Let me introduce some of the udon styles to you guys. This first one is called bukkake udon, and it means that the sauce is poured over top of the noodles instead of them starting out in a soup broth. And the one next to it is tsukimi udon, and it means it comes with a raw egg. So if you don't like raw egg, I wouldn't go for this one. But if you'd like to get an egg in your udon and you would prefer a cooked one, maybe go for this ontama. It means that it has a soft boiled egg that comes with it. Next we have zaru udon. This one is only served cold and the noodles don't come with a soup. Instead they come with a dipping sauce so you can dip the noodles in there. That one's great for the summer. And this is kitsune udon. It comes with a piece of aburaage or fried tofu. It's very flavorful and yummy. I like that one. They also have lots of curry udon and this kake udon here is the original basic one. It just comes in a warm soup. Shoyu udon. It's got some soy sauce in it. Lots to choose from. Okay, so when you come in, you gotta get a tray and a dish if you wanna get some tempura. And here's the tempura, so you can choose what toppings you wanna put on your udon. I usually get a shrimp. I always forget what the English is. They don't have eggplant. Eggplant would be my second choice. Yeah. I think I'll just get two eggy then. Two shrimps? And then if you look up at the top here, they have the different types of udon, so you can choose which one you want. I'm going to get this one with the egg. And you can choose hot or cold. The old come up because it's so cold. choose it. And you can choose the size too, so they'll ask you dai chu sho. Leftovers. I don't know what to call them. It's leftovers. <laughs> yeah, like yeah, like, like leftovers. Um, soy sauce, sesame seeds, wasabi. So if you guys are on a budget, you can get this bowl of udon with soup for 130 yen. I lived off this. I lived off this when I came here for Japan for the first time. That's awesome. And you can go put some toppings on it like the tempura flakes and yes, ginger and stuff sesame. so it's not like that boring. What did you get? Shine got the chew size. So this is the medium yep. size. Let's put some toppings on our yes. one dollar udon. One dollar <laughs> udon before and after. I'm gonna do this. Okay. I do like sesame, so I'm gonna like put loads of sesame. In. Oh my goodness. Yep. <laughs> Let's give the whole thing some flavor. Then, what is this again? Ginger. Uh, ginger, yeah. Holy Loads of crap. ginger. That's gonna be spicy. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> it's good for you. I don't like those leftovers because sometimes they have like weird bits in. Uh, so I'm just gonna go for the crispy ones that they're on purpose. But it sometimes get really squishy, so I don't want too many of those. Yeah. They used to have the um, flaky fish that you put in. Oh, the katsu. Yeah, the katsu Bushi. was for free, but they took it away because loads of people did what I do and just whacked loads of stuff on. <laughs> there we go. And turn it into a delicious, delicious whole meal. <laughs> okay, so this is ontama. It's basically just like a soft boiled egg. It's not raw, it's all cooked. Itadakimasu! <laughs> <There you> <laughs> 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 Mix more of this. They're really long today. Yeah, they're really long. I feel like they're happening. Look at that. Look at that. The ginger is nice. The ginger adds a nice spice mm. to it. 
What is it? Uh, seven spice. Oh. Shimmy. Yes. <laughs> More free toppings. <laughs> uh, it's a little spicy. It mostly just adds some like flavor to it. It's like a mixture of seven different spices. Gochisousama desu! All done! So this is Hanamaru Udon. There's uh, some other Udon chains as well. I'll put some names of the shops in the description box, so check them out. But yeah, uh, thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you soon! Bye!